Hi guys! So this video is going to be a quick tutorial on how I made those color changing horns for my NYX entry for the Power of Makeup. For this effect, I use liquid crystals from Solar Color Dust. So I've ordered lots of stuff from Solar Color Dust before over the years, and this is the first time I was able to use the color changing effect. So I did learn a lot in these two passes that I've gone and colored horns. I originally bought the smallest bottle they had, I think it was like $10, and that was more than enough to do the horns that I originally did. In fact, I saturated it so much that they permanently have color, as you can kind of see. It doesn't go back to black, like a traditional mood ring, kind of like that. So, as you can tell, it depends on how much you're applying and you get a different effect. So the horns I used in my next video, I didn't actually fabricate. I was lucky enough to have a cast of horns lying around. But for this video, I did create a pair using styrofoam in case anyone was interested in how to fabricate some quick horns. Started by getting a styrofoam wreath from a craft store. As you can see, I've already gone ahead and created one of the horns. I'm just gonna draw a rough estimate of the shape. Once we get to the sanding stage, that's where we can really tweak everything. I decided to use an old steak knife, but a sharp razor blade will work. Just cutting away any large areas, like the end third of the horns, and making notches to create more of a curve. Put in with a low grit sandpaper. Here I'm using 80 grit. The styrofoam sands super easy and quick. You can start rounding the shape and softening all the cuts you just made. I also sanded a sort of trench in the inner curve of the horns. If you look at some references, you'll see that this actually occurs in nature. As I'm working, I'm also double checking to make sure they stay relatively symmetrical. So to cover the horns, I used Freeform Air by Smooth On. This product is a lightweight epoxy and it cures in about four hours and dries hard as a rock. It's a two-part system, so you just take equal parts of A and B, then knead them together until fully mixed. You can totally use any kind of air drying lightweight clay or even go over them with warbler or paper mache. It's really whatever you're comfortable with. You just want to make sure that the product seals the styrofoam and it's paintable. I'm just applying a thin layer and smoothing it down with 99% alcohol. After it's covered, I just go in with a sculpting tool and rake lines over the horns for texture. The great thing about this product is it is sandable and you can etch with a metal tool or a Dremel if you want to tweak anything. After these dried, I did put some product on some thin spots I discovered and then just blended it by adding the previous texture. So here are the horns fully dried and ready to paint. I'm using Createx Wicked Color in black. This is actually an airbrush paint, but I love using these paints because they work on any surface like metal, plastic, fabric, wood. Since one of my hobbies is airbrushing, I just have a bunch of Wicked Colors and that's why I grabbed it. Craft Store acrylic paint will totally work fine, even black spray paint. You just want to make sure whatever you use to seal the styrofoam that you use a proper paint that will stick to it. It is recommended that liquid crystals are applied over black or darker color. It doesn't really work on lighter tones. Once the paint is dried, I'm going to go ahead and apply the liquid crystal ink. This stuff is really thin, so you can airbrush it if you want to. I like to brush it on, then airbrush a quick layer to hit any areas I missed. I feel like you lose more product by spraying it, so I limit my airbrushing. So it is this weird tan color, but once it dries, it goes clear and matte, which is great because it gets rid of the shine of the black paint, so you can easily tell any places you may have missed. Painting this on with a brush, you want to be careful because you can pull the product up pretty easily. So make sure you don't overwork any areas and make sure it's fully dry before going over it again. When you blow dry them, you can start to see the color change as it dries. Even though you can see the color effect once it's dried, the effect looks way better once it's sealed. I sealed one of them so you can see how much the effect has really improved. I used Model Master Clear Enamel. It's like an extra $5 to your order when you're ordering the liquid crystals from Solar Color Dust. Just go ahead and brush the sealer, then let it dry. Now they're ready for your project. 
Hope this was helpful and thank you so much for watching.